As I was leaving the house, I noticed this beautiful butterfly. Oh my god, you're so pretty. White butterflies are my absolute favorite. You have no idea how happy this made me. First things first, let's put on our jazz playlist. Good morning everyone. I am just out of shower and not looking great. My skin is not skinning this week. Let me put down my coffee mug at a secure place so it doesn't fall. But yeah, my skin is not skinning this week and I even have a eye sty. I mean, styes are for eyes. I'm not sure what's happening. So this pimple was here and then it upgraded itself, went up there. I mean, this one is almost healing, but then we have this. I think it's the touching my face. That's why I have this situation going on. Was I zoomed in? I think I was. Um, yeah, because recently I got into a habit of like putting, like resting my head on my chin. So I think this is what's going on because this is how I do it and that's the exact spot. So I have no one to blame besides myself, but I'm trying to take care of it to the best of my ability. Overall this week I am trying to tackle my life. Because for a moment there I feel like I lost control over my life. I feel like I was not as organized, I was not as detailed, I'm usually a to-do list girl and I have like my things in order as much as I can because chaos is not something that goes well with my brain so I always am pretty organized when it comes to my everyday life. I know like what day I'm doing what, what am I filming, what is the next chapter, what's the next day looking like so i'm a planner and this past i would say two weeks i have not been planning whatsoever like i have not been planning anything like i have been uh, going with the flow but i'm one of those people that i need to know what time is the flow coming so i feel like my life has been a mess so this past few days i've been trying to get on top of everything organize my days and not only like work-wise and life-wise, but also health-wise. I feel like this is a little bit too loud, is it? I don't know, I feel like it's a little bit loud. Let's bring it down so I don't have to yell. So, yeah, I have been trying to uh, like organize my life a lot better and health-wise as well. Um, because I have been a bit busy recently, I noticed that I don't eat right i don't drink enough water the most important thing um i think it was last week on friday i was out with my friends and i was so thirsty it was like 8 p.m and we went out to dinner and then i was like on our way to the restaurant i messaged them i'm like i'm so thirsty and i don't have any water in my car um we got to the restaurant i was like can i please immediately have a glass of water when i like finish the entire water which usually doesn't happen like i can't drink one glass of water in one go um, my friends were like you didn't drink any water because you're very very thirsty i was like oh my god i just realized the entire day i had like three cups of coffee and not a sip of water never been, never been more embarrassed in my life i should have known because my skin was acting not only on my face but my body it was acting up i'm extremely dry and like my skin is a bit irritated all over my body i should have known that i'm so like insanely dehydrated so this week i have been trying to get on top of my life get on top of my health eat better um eat a lot of protein and just overall do good things for my body um and we're on day three day four and i'm already feeling so much better so i actually need to take you guys back to a few days ago when i was organizing my makeup drawers i just realized that i didn't um intro the beginning of this vlog i was editing that section i was like oh my god there's no intro it just goes into organization of my 
um, vanity and my makeup collection so what I did a few days ago which I'll insert the clips next but let me give you guys an explanation of it so I do I did have a clear organization uh, for my makeup and I also have like a built-in vanity and underneath the built-in vanity I have drawer units that I use um, to store my makeup and everything and it got so chaotically busy there were so many products so many expired products i think i had like 15 plus foundations that i don't use um i had so many highlighters eyeshadows just a lot of bits and bobs and it was getting out of control and my drawer unit was pretty it was getting old it was not that old but like it was getting pretty old um so i just wanted to refresh it so i put an order bought a new vanity and i also wanted something that has a lid so i can put my makeup brushes in there and like close it because i don't like my makeup brushes to be contaminated with the air since i have such a sensitive skin so that was one of the main reasons that i actually changed it so i bought a new clear acrylic organizer which i'll show it to you guys and um i organized my makeup bits and bobs and got rid of so many products like so many products i think my collection now is half of what it used to be the thing is the new organizer doesn't hold as much as my previous one so i had to get rid of a lot of things and right now it's like pretty full like i don't have space for any more makeup or like literally any beauty product i'll insert that clip for you guys now this is the makeup um vanity organizer that i got um let me actually take it out of its packaging because obviously you guys can see how it looks like so let me take it out and then i'll show it to you guys so this is the organizer that i'm going to use i love the fact that it opens up from the top so you can put like your makeup brushes and everything here and um close it i still don't know if the height of it will be okay for my um what do you call it um for my brushes but obviously it is pretty tall you can put like items standing up and all of that um it has a narrow dra uh, drawer it has a deeper drawer and then it has all of these so it's three section it is this section this section and then this section you can obviously these two you can change them you can have this up and have this one down um but i think this is the kind of organization that i personally like so now let's go and organize my drawers i still don't know how am i going to organize them um but i have to play around with it so very excited to get organized and use this because this seems very upgraded compared to what i have right now organizing my foundations now and this is honestly embarrassing why do i have like 15 different foundations and i only use probably two of them so we're gonna do a major clear out of all my foundations because i feel like half of these are expired by this point now it is all organized and it is looking as good as i can make it look um i have my brushes there my daily setting spray the contour and the like highlight and uh, blush that i use every day i have my uh, beauty blender and um what is that powder puff there and like little bits and bobs that i use on a daily basis and also i have all of my like liquid or cream uh blushes here with my under eye brighteners i'm not gonna go into details of all of this just very quickly since we're here so i have like lipsticks here i have eyeshadows and the bronzers here and then concealers more lip product um blush and lip product lip product here we have like eye glitters and stuff and i have all of my lip balms here and then i also organized this drawer i have my brow product here um eye product here lip products um tools and stuff my hair clips and in the back i have like random bits and tabs 
and then I organized this drawer. You have no idea how many foundations I got rid of. I basically kept only my ride or die products, which are my Charlotte Turbery ones, and then these two, the Flawless Filter ones, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, the Estee Lauder Double Wear, this is the reformulated one, my Lancome one, which is my absolute favorite. This Bobbi Brown one is not a ride or die product, but it is new. So I kept it. Um, I like it, but not as much as I like all the other ones. The Tom Ford one is absolutely beautiful. And then I have like uh, my face mists, either primers, um, glow things. The iconic London one is in the back and um, primers and stuff. I have two of my favorite tinted moisturizers. And then this is all primers. And then here we only have very few bits and bobs left i can't tell you how many highlighters bronzers and blushes i got rid of um so i have like my blushes in the front then we have highlighters and then face powders and the only eyeshadow palettes besides the ones that i showed you guys um in the clear organizer these are the only eyeshadow palettes that i kept which most likely they're expired but I'm still going to use them. I mean, I just got a new eyeshadow palette uh, in PR. I'm not sure what brand is it. I think it's Pop Beauty. Maybe I should get rid of this, but I really, really like this. So for the time being, this is um, the organization. I also wanted to show you guys these headbands, which are the famous uh, TikTok headbands. I got this in one pack. It comes in a pack of um, two, beige and white. I just think they're very very cute it actually comes with one of those um what do you call it um the what are they called uh, my brain is not working the ones that you put like the towels that you put on your wrist so the water doesn't um go down your arms it comes with uh, one of those as well but currently mine is in the wash uh but yeah i'll link this one for you guys as well these are my new obsessions and um i had the black one um, but obviously me being me I needed a nude one and white one the day after I organized my makeup drawer I organized my jewelry drawer and then I also organized my belt drawer and all of that I have not yet gotten to organization of my closet like clothes and stuff because the weather 90 degrees like it's not time for me to switch over my um, spring and summer wardrobe to my fall and winter one i do have new win like yeah fall and winter bits and bobs that i got um in my previous hauls this year so i am wearing my new pieces if it's like a night out and it's cold the weather is so annoying early in the morning it's cold midday it's summer and at night it's like winter like we go literally through three seasons of fall summer winter throughout one day and uh, it makes getting dressed a little bit challenging so i'm wearing a lot of cardigans a lot of like crop jackets and all of that uh, but i have not yet gotten the chance to switch over my wardrobe because again the weather is not weathering it's legitimately summer hopefully by next week it's predicted that we're going to have a little bit of a more of a fall vibes the plan of action of the day is to look a lot more presentable oh i actually use a new tan that i have to show it to you guys because i am impressed with the result of it uh, but let me get dressed look a little bit more presentable hide this planet to the best of my ability because it's just not a vibe i have breakouts here as well and that is because i decided I gave myself a permission to get off of my antibiotics. It's just my stomach cannot handle it anymore. I just can't. It's been two years that I'm taking diacycline and having antibiotic on a daily basis damages your other organs and I don't know if my body can handle it. Either I have to accept this is the skin that I have and go about my day but that's very hard for me. I can't do that. So I decided to not to take my diacycline for like a week, close to 10 days, and my rosacea got all activated. Um, I mean, it is doing better. I had like breakouts all over, but it is doing better now. Hopefully with the water intake that I'm having right now, I'm making sure that I drink a ridiculously high amount of water uh and i'm eating good i cut off sugar again i'm not eating any sugar because last week i had a donut for breakfast lunch and dinner in one day 
and that's not smart so yeah i cut down sugar i am drinking tons of water um, i'm eating a lot of protein a lot of foods that are good for your skin i'm eating fish nuts and eggs um so yeah hopefully within a week to 10 days i'll have my skin back i'm back on my antibiotics as much as i don't want to but i'm back on my antibiotics so hopefully my skin will start thriving instead of just surviving um but yeah i was giving you guys the plan of action for the day i'm going to get ready for the day and then i have a few bits and bobs that i got from asos that are questionable questionable stuff but i have to show it to you guys so we can both have a laugh together and then i actually want to um do a sephora favorites or like products that i repurchase they're on automatic repurchase when i finish them um like beauty products because sephora sale is coming up and basically i want to do a roundup of what i would buy like my repurchases there's always this is the thing when it comes to sephora favorites i don't like to call it sephora favorites because there is just a lot of favorites a lot of things that i would like to have but i like to give you guys like my ride or die products like products that i always restock um up on them that when it's like a sale happening i like to get like my backup uh, because i know for a fact i'm not going to change that product for example my brow gel there's no way that i will try another product besides the one that i'm using right now so we'll go over that with you guys as well but first thing first i need to look a bit more presentable i'm getting ready to put on my jewelry and i have like few new pieces that i want to show you guys all of them from iceling i have been using this jewelry but i put them back in their boxes so i can remember to show it to you guys we're gonna start off with my absolute favorite which is this beautiful stack of rings um i believe you can purchase these separately but they sent two of it <clears throat> I don't know why is my throat a little bit scratchy but oh actually let me put it on this hand i am absolutely in love with this ring like they're chunky and chunky jewelry is very much in right now just overall during fall and winter i personally love chunky jewelry how beautiful are these pieces so 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 pretty so they sent me that and they also sent me two earrings from their new collection the first one is this one which is literally perfection if my camera focuses on it there we go how beautiful is this it's like a not um gold earring obviously you guys know i'm a huge fan of gold jewelry and they also sent me this earring which i think is the earring that i'm going to wear today because it's gonna go well with the buttons of this jacket is this stunning two hoops attached to each other how stunning is this let's actually um put this on because i feel like it will go well with my um, outfit by the way these pieces look like chunky and big but they're super lightweight like specifically the earrings i know i can handle very very heavy earrings sometimes i recommend earrings or like i'm wearing an earring that um, some of you buy and you're like how do you hold that on your ear um, it's so heavy it's just i don't know i guess beauty is pain um, i'm an earring girly as you guys can see i sleep with all of my earrings in and it's just it just brings me joy you know um so why am i having a hard time putting this one in um but yeah um these are not heavy at all um there we go yeah i think this is cute it goes with my outfit it's dainty cute and it goes with that round of um buttons oh my god i'm having really hard time finding my words um let's do the other hand ring we're gonna do this one which is again from Icelink, and i'm gonna do the band because i love a good band sorry give me one second it's my phone we're gonna go in with my watch which is the abbott leon watch it's my absolute favorite watch they have another version of this that has like a pearl background and to be honest with you i'm kind of eyeing that one as well so 
I might treat myself to a new watch uh, but this one is my absolute favorite one and I think I'm done with jewelry I mean there's no more space to put more jewelry but yeah I think I am done I've actually decided to record my Sephora favorites for my TikTok and my Instagram reels only because um i feel like um it's gonna be more useful for me to link it over there a little bit faster because i don't know when this video is going live to be honest with you it might be before the sephora sale it might be during sephora for sure it's going to be going live before uh the sephora sale ends but i don't know exactly what date it is going to go up so um i'm going to record uh my sephora favorites for I don't want to call it Sephora favorites. My repurchases from Sephora uh, for um, TikTok and uh, Instagram, as I mentioned. Why am I having such a hard time talking today? Like today is not the day for me to not be able to talk because I have a lot of talking to do. All of my videos today are pretty much relying on me talking. Um, so yeah, I'm going to film that. Let me show you guys the tan that I used yesterday. It hurts my soul. This hurts my soul, but I truly needed to use this yesterday so you know i'm a saint tropez tan girly in my heart in my soul but yesterday i needed one hour express like literally something that i can apply exactly on the dot one hour wash it because i literally didn't have five minutes to spare so i needed something really quick and i used this i remember that they sent this in pr I used the purple one which is the deep tone and I applied it, this is from Bandai Sand if I didn't mention, um, so I applied this around like 5pm and washed it even before 6pm, I think it was 5.45, 5.50, so I left it on for like 45 minutes to like 50 minutes, 55 minutes and I washed it off and I do really really like it like my tan is not patchy it's like beautifully blended and i have to mention this i didn't scrub before tanning which usually is, is a crime when it comes to tanning you must scrub before fake tanning but i didn't have time as i mentioned and for the fact that i didn't um scrub i think it looks good it's not too dark but it gives me color you know it gives me color that I personally like. So I need Saint Tropez to come out with one of our express ones because they're lifesavers for people like me. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people will appreciate one hour express. But anyway, that is everything I wanted to show you guys. Now I'm going to record my video and I'm feeling really hungry. So maybe I'll eat something and then I'll show you guys um, the ASOS pieces. I know this is not the healthiest breakfast, but it's very, very satisfying and very quick um, to make. So I basically used Rice Krispies from Trader Joe's, peanut butter and banana and a little bit of flaky salt. Let me tell you guys a little bit of a behind story of why I ordered the items that I ordered. So I'm going to a concert on Sunday. It is going to be an Armenian singer. And usually one thing you can always trust um, Armenians to do is to dress up. So that was the reason behind ordering this glamorous dresses and unfortunately asos disappointed me for one of the dresses i have hope but i have to try it on um so i tried on all of these items that i'm going to show you guys one of the items it was ridiculously small on me so i ordered a bigger size it just arrived last night i have not yet tried it on so i have high hopes for that dress even though it might be a little bit too dressy i still don't know but basically let me show you guys the pieces. I ordered this skirt that I thought, oh my god, this is so adorable and cute. I can wear it with like a black bodysuit. It's not too dressy. It's not too casual. I mean, it is dressy, obviously, because it has this. But like, it's not over the top because there are some over the top items here. 
Um, so I ordered this in a size US 12 and normally I am a US 12 but I probably will fit into US 18 of this and it's very very teeny tiny and yeah unfortunately I can't try this on for you I'll insert the picture of the model wearing it beautiful design but the sizing of it is very off second dress this is my fault for ordering it. I'm not upset about the design. I looked it up and I knew the design and I still ordered it. So I ordered this black dress that is long sleeve because this is another thing. I wanted something long sleeve because usually at concert halls it gets really cold and I am someone that I cannot be cold. If I'm cold, I'm uncomfortable and I don't enjoy being there. So um I wanted something long sleeve so I thought this dress is a little bit glam it has like sparkles and it has all this hairy kind of a vibes I'm not sure what are they called it has cutouts on the side I was like this could be cute um, between everything this fits me really nicely but when I wear it it's not me whatsoever so this is us 12 as well and i'll try it on and you guys will see maybe it will be actually something that you guys will think it's pretty i'm not sure then i saw this dress that to be honest with you i didn't see the back of it online you guys know how much i love tweed material so when i saw this i was like oh my god this is so adorable and cute love the color um, it has like diamond openings in the front and I thought this could be cute potentially because it has its matching blazer But the back is completely open Let me actually Attach this again. So the back is completely open which again. It was not such a big issue um, If the jacket that goes with it. Oh my god, I have a hair on my lip. There we go. Um, if the jacket that was going with it was a vibe. But I have never seen worst quality of work from ASOS. When I tell you, like, okay, let me show you. This is the jacket of that dress, which on me doesn't suit me whatsoever besides the quality of the material. Um, not the material, quality of the job of this attachments what is this these are pretty expensive like pieces and i cannot believe that the quality is like that you can see the glue throughout the um this sparkly section and it is just not a good quality i didn't take off the uh, paper wrap from the buttons of it because i'm not going to wear this most likely because when i wear the dress and the jackets together i don't think it looks good in my personal opinion which i saw it on the model but i usually can envision myself wearing it a little bit better i don't want to give myself credit like that but like there's so many times that i see a dress on the model i don't like it but when i buy it i wear it i feel like i like it more so that was the case with this dress um even this section of the dress like do you see how dirty the glue job is it just is not a good vibe with this dress and then the fourth option which is my favorite one to be honest with you even if i don't wear it for this um concert which i feel like it would be a little bit too over the top for the concert if you're being honest um so it's this dress that is again boucle material tweed boucle whatever you call it holding it up will not do it justice this is a size 12 and it does not fit me whatsoever it's like the bardo style and it has like this bow in the front it's very very short this is the size 12 i ordered the size 14 which arrived yesterday i have not yet even um opened the package i'm really really hopeful that this will fit me better let me show you guys the dress actually on size 14 it's it's like it has the bow and everything it looks a little bit more presentable so mm, there's potential there is potential but that's the thing with boucle um or like tweed materials because they don't have stretch to them 
um, you have to kind of guess your sizing there's literally zero stretch to it and why is the do you see how the arm is sewn like there's fabric is like halfway <laughs> I don't know if the camera is picking up on it but like why is the quality of these pieces so bad like look at the I don't know I don't expect that from ASOS because they're not the cheapest store but why is the quality like this I feel like this dress has potential. Is it a little bit tight on me? Yes, this is a size 14 and it is actually not an ASOS own brand. This is Miss Selfridge, which is one of my favorite brands um, of ASOS, but unfortunately it runs very, very small. So am I fully comfortable in it? No, especially this area, it is pulling, but I feel like yeah, this is a good dress for the concert. I feel like with some heels, I think my Manolo Blahnik heels or maybe even a little bit more of a comfortable heel because why is the fabric shedding? Uh, or maybe a little bit of more of a comfortable heel because I feel like we have to do a lot of like walking to get the venue. Um, but yeah, either the Milano Blahnik ones or maybe my Zara heels. I'll figure out about the heels, but... I feel like this is not a bad dress for the concert. I didn't open the bow because they've done it so beautifully and I just didn't want to ruin it, so I, I only opened the buttons. It was a little bit difficult to get into it, but I got into it. And I feel like the height of it is really good as well. It's not too short and somehow, do you guys see it? It gives me a little bit of a shape, which I personally really like. We all know how much I love a cinching kind of a waist. Let me take a picture of this and send it to my sisters because I need their opinion on this. I kind of like it. Probably they're going to be like, yeah, you'll be too over the top. But I feel like this is a good dress, actually, even though the quality is not the best, to be honest with you. And it's a little bit itchy. I'm not going to lie. It's a bit itchy, but I think I can handle it for a few hours. I wanted to show you guys the dress on its own and then I'll wear the blazer on top of it. So... On its own, it's not horrible, even though, again, the quality of this is not good. And also the sizing of it is not the best. Like, it needs to be like this. You get what I mean? But if I get a size smaller, then the hip area will not fit me because this is already pulling. But overall, I wish it didn't have this, uh, like, sparkly like edges. It would have been such a chic dress if it didn't have that. But... I get the vibe that they're going with so here is the dress on its own which is not horrific it needs alteration for sure but let me put on the jacket in any shape or form I don't find this chic which usually with tweed and like bouclé materials they're very chic they're very Chanel inspired but I feel like this is very tacky in my personal opinion and I am not about it. It does not look good together. Maybe separately it will look good, but together it is not a vibe. Um, and again, the sparkly edges ruined it for me, unfortunately. Such a beautiful fabric. Love the colors, but at the same time, they ruined it with this design. And it just doesn't even sit right. You see what I mean? As much as I love the dress, I know for a fact that it's open back like it's fully open back i am not going to be wearing it it's like yeah oh my god my bracelet got stuck give me a second let me separate myself from <laughs> this dress there we go so yeah as much as i like the dress but i know i'm not gonna get a wear out of it because of how open back the back is um so yeah unfortunately both of these are going back so according to my sisters this is the most appropriate dress for the concert because it's long sleeve um it's black it's chic and it has a little bit of skin showing on the side so it's like the most pretty much um appropriate one and i do like it but to be honest with you this little hairy bits are not my vibe and I don't know. I'm torn between this one and the other black dress. I personally like the other dress so much more. But this is... Not that this is casual, but I feel like this is a little bit less glamorous compared to the other one. 
there's something about this dress that is not very pleasant to me and I can't pinpoint what it is. This is so much more comfortable than the other dress, I have to tell you this. Very comfortable, it's not itchy, the size of it is better and just overall it lo it's a lot more comfortable compared to the other one, but there's something about this dress that I don't like. I don't know if it's the design, if it's the fabric, I feel like the other dress is so much more me. By the time you watch this video, I have already made a decision on which dress I am wearing, but please feel free to let me know which dress you would have preferred me to wear because I'm very curious to know. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day. Oh my God, the contrast of the sun is next level. Let me see if I put you guys here. Would it be better? I don't think so, but... It is the next day. The sun is sunning. It legitimately... That's my phone. One second. I am wearing new sunglasses, by the way. These are not mine. My sister's. And I saw her wearing them yesterday. I was like, I've never been a Ray-Ban person. But as soon as I put this on, I was like, I like them. They're a vibe. Um, the sun is sunning. That's why I'm wearing like a summery dress. I'm wearing this pink dress that you guys can't even see. It's a bit reveling for a day of shopping but honestly it was so hot couldn't be bothered i wanted something super light um so a plan of action of the day is it's going to be a pretty busy day i'm going to pick up monte and then i'm going to pick up my mom we're gonna go to the mall together all of us um never been to the mall with monte he's a very 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 well behaved kid he listens He's not like unruly, um, but um, I'm a little bit stressed. I was gonna take him by myself alone, but then I realized I have a lot of things that I need to get done. I need to go to Nordstrom to pick up a pair of shoes that I ordered. I need to go to Nespresso because I'm running low on my coffee. And I also need to go to Mango, which is very, very, very exciting. And Mango just opened up near uh, my house. And it's so interesting. I didn't know a Mango opened up. And like, I think it was two weeks ago, I was um, speaking to my friend. I was like, oh, I wish we had a Mango, um, like in California, because to my knowledge, we didn't have any. And then she was like, oh my God, how interesting. A Mango just opened up in um, Glendale Galleria. I was like, you're joking. She was like, no. And you have no idea how excited I got. I've been wanting to go for the past two weeks, um, but life has been busy. So today I just thought it's a great day to just go see what they have. Also saw a couple of things online that I'm hoping they'll have in store. Um, you know when you look up the item and you're like, um, you put in the zip code for them to tell you like if they have it in stock near um, your house. So this location is still not on their map. So I was not able to see if they have it or not. But there is this uh, red belt that I want. And I also, a sweater dress that I saw. And also the famous mango cardigan that everybody's wearing. It's like brown and navy. It's so cute. So I want to see if they have that. So I asked my mom, I was like, would you please come with me? Because there are a lot of stores that I need to go. And I'm not going to be able to take Monte. So while you guys are... Being entertained in Americana, they have like a train ride. I can go to Mango really quickly, then Nordstrom and Nespresso, we can go together. I don't know if I'm going to vlog in Mango with you because if it's a lot of products that I see that I wanna try on, I'll do a separate video on it. But if I don't see that many things, it's just one or two bits, then I'll include it in this video. I'm really, really hoping that I'll have a successful shopping day at the mall because I still don't know what am I wearing for the concert. I'm really hoping I'll be able to find a, a little bit toned down black long sleeve dress. More time, get to. So we're back, obviously, and I want to show you guys the shoes that I picked up from Nordstrom. So for, um, what was the name of the store we went to? Hmm. Uh, we went to Mango. That will be my next video, but... The shoes that I picked up from Nordstrom is from Steve Madden. Sorry, the table is moving a lot. Do they get a on short charges? Thank you. So I have already tried them on and they're big on me. So I have already ordered a size smaller. So these are the shoes. They're so chic and very, very elegant. I love the color of them. 
in camera they look a lot brighter that brighter than they actually are so the size guide was saying that i have to go a size and a half up and that's what i did this is a size 10 usually i'm like an eight eight and a half but this is too big on me but it's a very very beautiful and chic and like timeless pair of heels um this specific one comes in oh my god this one is actually damaged i just realized it has a black marker on it okay well but this pair is not meant to be not only it's big on me but it is damaged uh that would have been very annoying if it was a correct size but anyway yeah this needs to go back this comes in four different colors i think three more different colors they have the black version they have a tweed one that is really pretty as well so first i have to figure out my sizing because with steve madden shoes i'm never the same size so i have to figure out my sizing and then i might buy the tweed version of it as well but for the time being this one i'm very much obsessed and i really hope the other size that i ordered will be actually my size but yeah just wanted to show you guys that we had a pretty long and eventful day and i'm ready to go to bed and it's like i think 4 p.m with that being said i'm going to love you and leave you and i really hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and i will see you guys in my next video bye bye